welcome back students this is megasham raju engineering college bikaner assistant professor in mechanical department in the previous lecture we have seen what is taylor sun's surface meter which is a popular stylus measurement instrument for the finish of a surface structure so this Tomlin surface meter which is totally a mechanical device working on the mechanical principles like will be placing the workpiece and this workpiece is connected to some electrical motor in which the movement of the workpiece will be slowly happening and this kit is used to support the stylus the stylus is having a diamond probe which is connected to the edge of the workpiece now this stylus will be having a vertical movement which is given by the movement of the workpiece and it is having only the vertical movement which is restricted by the springs here we are having the coil spring and then leaf spring these two springs having a tension p is restricting the movement only in vertical direction and now this movement of the stylus is transferred to an cylinder lapped steel cylinder which is firmly fixed between fixed rollers here you can see the rollers transferred to the arm and one side of one side of the arm is connected to the cylinder and the other side is having a diamond scriber which is fixed to the one side of the arm and it will draw these imperfections in the workpiece with a magnification factor to 5200 over the smoked glass so you can observe this this is entirely a mechanical device there is no intervention of electrical or electronic circuit in this now coming to the next measurement device measurement of the roughness which can convert it to an finish finishness of a particular workpiece by using some formula which is nothing but tyler hobson tyler surf so this is this will be working on the same principle of an tyler surf but with a slight modification instead of entirely a mechanical device it is having some electrical modifications so because as it is having some electrical modifications so this is its advantage it can be used anywhere either it can be used in a shop floor or some factories or in some laboratories like metrology laboratory so anywhere you can use it versatilely you can use it anywhere so coming to the construction of the tyler hobson tyler surf so similarly here is your workpiece <coughs> it is connected to an stylus so this is your stylus so this stylus is connected to one side of the armature and the other side of the armature is connected to an e shaped stamping you can see the e shaped stamping here which is in an e shaped symbol this e shaped stamping is pivoted at the middle of the armature so that it can move left and right with the movement of the stylus which is given by the workpiece so this workpiece is connected <coughs> by an electrical motor with a gearbox in between so with the gearbox you can control the speed of the workpiece motion so that is how the stylus will be moving vertically and this movement will give motion to this armature and this armature motion will in turn give the motion to this e shaped stamping by varying the air gaps here so with the motion of the stylus you will get some variation in the air gaps ab and ac 
so this is a b and a c connected to an bridge balancing bridge will be calling is and the entire device is nothing but an oscillator okay and this kit is there to give the support to the stylus how the tylersons measuring instrument is given giving the support to the stylus by the skid in a similar way it is also gave the support to the stylus here <coughs> so now if you just see the diagram so this is my stylus and this is the armature so the coils are connected AB and AC AB and AC are connected in the balanced bridge so here you will be providing the predefined AC signal in the sense this AC signal frequency its magnitude and its scale everything you know you you have been predefined it so you know these values and the output whatever it is giving is according to an air gap so here you will be getting an Im imbalanceness by variation of this e-shaped stamping by the movement of the stylus because of the air gap variation so you will getting an carrier signal you can see this from the oscillator you will be getting a carrier signal this carrier signal is amplified through an amplifier in which you will be getting a modulated carrier signal so the modulated carrier signal will be having some disturbance as well as the the information regarding to the imperfectionness of the workpiece so along with the distance it is having an imperfectionness over a workpiece so now again to remove that disturbance you will be sending this modulated carrier wave through a demodulator you will be getting a demodulated and smoothened smoothened why because you have been removing the disturbance so now after removing the disturbance you will be getting a demodulated and then smoothened waveform which can be recorded through some permanent pen and an array of the signals can be recorded for further processing so here recording will be happening and now this demodulation can also be filtered using some filter either it can be a low pass or high pass filter or an band pass particular band pass you can pass it so you will be getting a perfect waveform which is proportional to this imperfectionness of the workpiece either it is magnified or it is scaled according to your requirement and this filtered waveform is connected to a meter and this meter can directly give the finishness or the roughness of the workpiece or the job right <coughs> here you can see that a predetermined will be supplying an AC current to this from part of the bit circuit so this is your bit circuit a scheduled datum so this kit is provided for the reference and for the support the measuring head can be transferred in a linear path by electric motor so it's what the measuring surface is nothing but an this work piece is support is connected to an electric motor with some gear box to control the speeds so the work piece is just moved over this stylus as the stylus moves up and down due to the surface irregularity the armature also displays Armature displacement takes place with the movement of the stylus. This causes variation in the air cap, so you will be having a variation in the air cap, leading to imbalance in the circuit. So there will be imbalance in the circuit. <coughs> the resulting bit circuit output consists of only modulated. So you will be getting a carrier waveform and passing passing through an amplifier and demodulated. You will be getting a modulated waveform which is directly connected to a pen recorder for a permanent marking permanent record of that waveform the instrument has a capability calculator that display the roughness value according to a standard form so you will be getting directly an 
roughness of this particular workpiece in the meter which can also be calculating the finishness of this particular surface structure using some meters so that's all guys so only one one or two topics left over in the fourth chapter this is the end of your fourth chapter either i'll be giving the pdf or tomorrow i'll be <coughs> finishing with finishing off with one video or i'll be giving a pdf in the google classroom please follow this and thank you for watching